right, y'all. We tuned in to another vlog. And as y'all can see, I got the jack. I'm on the phone today. I know I said in the last video yesterday, uh, I was going to start using the big camera. But uh, I thought about it before I started jacking up. I said, um, I need to start vlogging more daily if possible. And I ain't feel like going upstairs, putting that camera together and all that, so we on the phone. But getting it jacked up, finna get it on all four. Get well, get it all four off the ground. Uh, my boy Rick on the way over here. Actually gonna do it right here. And y'all, for the record, I do know how to do all this stuff, but sometimes you just don't feel like messing with it, man. You know what I mean. Uh, I done got, I done got spoiled. I'm not gonna tell you no lie. I done got spoiled with using the lift and all of that. So I ain't feel like laying, rolling around no creeper. Uh, I learned all this stuff just in case I had to do it myself. If I don't have to do it and I have an option, I just rather pay somebody. It's, I'm just being real. <laughs> but can I do it? Yeah, I done took transmissions out before, installed them, all of that. My aunt taught me all of that stuff, so. Yeah, I do know. So if I'm on the side of the road, I can pick my stuff. I can adjust valves. I do all that. But um, anyway, Rick, Rick on the way. I'm finna get this jacked up out of the ground. I can at least do that much for him, cause he is looking out. And uh, we're gonna check back in when he get here. All right, y'all. So I just got the car off the ground. We got Rick over here getting it in, doing his thing, and. I gotta show y'all something up under there when he get finna call. I ain't even know it. I ain't even laid up under the car, y'all. I um, I take the rear end out and stuff, but I just found some stuff out on the front. Some good stuff that I didn't even know about. So, he doing it, and uh, I'm gonna check back in with y'all a little bit. Y'all see Rick down and getting it in. Uh, what you hearing, Rick? You convert the bolts? Yeah, convert Yeah, he hit a converter, y'all. He uh he ain't in the, he ain't in the pro mode today, y'all. He got a nice ride, like I said in the previous video. He got a real nice ride, but uh, like I said, he came over here to do this for me. Uh, he looked out, he found. I've been doing it a long time, y'all. Actually, seen uh one of his old cars in one of the older videos, and I'm gonna throw a clip in there right now. <laughs> Is uh, what you want dropped on there? How, how, how do they need to contact? Uh, they can get into my phone number. Uh, I'm gonna drop your phone number down below. Then y'all y'all can uh give him a call or uh, probably text him. Y'all know how it is with numbers and stuff. So just text him. He do amazing work. Uh, I'm gonna have to get over there and show y'all his new ride. But he build a motor all this. Like I said, uh, me and him don't stay too far away. So I trust him instead of he saving. He saved me time and money from paying towing. Paying towing to have to go with Monroe car. My uncle's shop, y'all, if y'all didn't know, is about 45 minutes away. So when y'all see me at the shop, I be done drove 45 minutes. So yeah, he uh working on that and we're gonna check back in. Alright, we checking back in, y'all. Rick about got it. Um got the car all set up and everything. Getting the dry shell pulled out now. And I need to go up on there and show y'all what I saw. But I ain't, I ain't know. But I might do that in another video. I don't know if I want to exactly. I don't even know if I want to uh, show it all right now. But basically all this car need though. All this car need. What I originally said. It's a better pair of back shots. It don't need nothing else. And I'm talking about this car is a perfect. Perfect. It would be sleeper. The fender exit to get away, but the way this car is set up is just, it's perfect. That's all I can say, it's perfect. 
But yeah, getting it all worked out. Um, it probably be out and on the ground in a little bit. Then uh, we're gonna show y'all what we got in the next vlog. We probably gonna be transporting it over to Showtime Transmission Rebuilds and him with DJ got planned for it and all that good stuff. So we're gonna check back in and probably next clip it'll be on the ground. All right, so update. Um, Rick just got the fluid out the uh, transmission. And like I said, I smell it over here. I'm sitting on the end of the garage. I smell it over here. It's burnt. Fluid burnt, y'all. So just like I said in the well, I got I read the comments. I saw what y'all put in the comments, uh, of what y'all think was the problem. But like I said, some burnt up in that transmission, man. I guarantee it burnt clutches and stuff. The fluid, the fluid all uh, burnt. Um, and hey, that that's that's what other sign, man. What other sign? It's gonna tell you everything, but. I'm just curious when DJ get it took apart. I told DJ to keep the parts for me, even if I can't make it over there. But he probably gonna film some stuff with his phone so y'all can see the disassembly. But even if he forget, uh, when I get over there, y'all will be able to see the parts. Cause I told, I definitely want to see, it. and I guarantee you, it's some clutches or something burn up, man. Like so, we uh, like I said, it's about it's about out. And uh, I'm gonna check back in with y'all in a minute. Yo, here it is, y'all. Got it out. I said Rick. Rick got it out. Got it out quick, too. That's it. TH400. A lot of people still be asking. I don't have no straight shield. TH400. It's a PTC converter. Balloon plate. Uh, I said Rick did a real clean job, too. This what you want. That's what I said. I'm gonna drop his number on the screen again. Hit him up. Uh, he build motors. He do rims. Can pull transmission all everything. So hit him up and give him a call too. Give him a call. He can't get you right. Located in Georgia. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna get this over to. We're gonna get this over to Showtime Transmission Rebuilds, and I know he gonna get me right. And uh, yeah, we're gonna make it happen. Let DJ put his touch on it, and Camaro gonna be back on the road. So until then, it's gonna stay on the jack stands. <laughs> it's gonna stay in the air. Cause uh, when it get back, Rick will be throwing it back in there. And then uh, y'all probably be seeing some ride footage. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Rick take it for a spin. Gonna be his first time driving the turbo car, so they're gonna be interesting. So yeah, um, but it's it, y'all. It's it. Real nice converter. Uh, it's nice everything, man. I'm telling you, it's something I seen on the. Well, Rick pointed out I hadn't even laid up under the car until now. I had no reason to jack it up. I just looked at the rear of the car, but yeah, it's some nice stuff. I'm gonna say that. But that's it. Uh, it's out. And we'll be going Showtime Transmission Rebuild next.